We are all sinners. Every one of us. You, me. <laughs> Even the Father knows deeply of sin. It's a poison that clouds our minds. What if I told you you could be free from sin? What if I told you that everything you ever dream could come true? What if I told you that everything could be overcome if you embraced an idea? That freedom from sin can come from the power of just one word. Center. Yes. I wish to be unburdened. Yes. I must be redeemed. If you're watching this, know that you have been selected. You will be cleansed. You will confess your sins. And you will be offered atonement. Don't worry. You don't have to do anything. We'll come for you. Welcome to Eden's Gate. Fuck. John C's got your partner, Hudson. She's in a world of shit, kid. You gotta get going. It is not for us to judge. Deliver them unto the waters. The cleansing begins tonight. this one. This one's not clean. <laughs> ah. Shh. You mock the cleansing, John. No, Joseph. Shh. You have to love them, John. Do not let your sin prevent that. Bring that one to me.
Despite all that you have done, you are not beyond salvation. You're not here by accident or by chance. You are here by the grace of God. You've been given a gift. Now it remains to be seen whether you choose to embrace it or to cast it aside. This one shall reach the atonement. Or the gates of Eden shall be shut to you, John. Yes, Joseph. You will confess. Every sin you've ever committed, no matter how petty, no matter how small, I will pull from you. <sighs> then we'll see if you're worthy of atonement. Right away, we'll be okay, right? No. You'll make it worse. Why? Because confession without pain isn't confession. You'll scream out your sin, and you'll wear it on your flesh before John peels it off of you. It's a beautiful thing. Fucking Peggy's. Show them no mercy. Stay with me. Didn't go through all this trouble just to lose you now. Deputy, you've had your fun. But all sinners must confess. This is the will of the Father. My men are coming for you. I'll see you soon. John is fucking determined to sink his hooks into you, deputy. Now, I know you got in by the skin of your teeth last time, but don't underestimate this bastard. Right down there! Dutch out. They put up a good fight. Wake up, Dan. Be easier just to put a bullet in him. Yeah, that is not the will of the Father. <coughs> Take them to John. He's ready to hear their confession. My parents were the first ones to teach me about the power of yes. One night, they took me into the kitchen 
and they threw me on the ground, and I experienced pain after pain after pain after pain. After pain. <laughs> And when I didn't think I could take any more, I did. Something broke free inside. I wasn't scared, I was clear. I looked up at them. I started to laugh. All I could say was, yes. I spent my entire life looking for more things to say yes to. I opened every hole in my body, and when those were filled, I created more. But it was Joseph who showed me just how selfish I was being. Always receiving, always taking the best gift. It isn't the one you get, it's the one you give. Giving takes courage. Courage to own your sin, to etch it onto your flesh and carry its burden. And when you have endured, when you have truly begun to atone, to cut it out like a cancer and display it for all to see. I'm going to teach you courage. Teach you how to say yes, so you can confront your weaknesses, confront your sins. You will swim across an ocean of pain and emerge free. For only then can you truly begin to atone. Who wants to go first? Hmm? Which one? Hmm? This is lesson number one. Someone's got to choose! For fuck's sake, we'll start with you. You won't regret this. I promise. Now, before we begin, I think it's only proper that Deputy Hudson goes back to her room. Confessions are supposed to be private, after all. I am not here to take your life. I'm here to give it to you. I'm going to open you pour your worst fears inside, and as you choke, your sins will reveal themselves. Only then will you truly understand the power of yes. I'll be right back. Soul, because in the end, you'll still be empty. 
and I'll be waiting right here. We both will. There's nothing more you can do here, deputy. I'll come for you when you're good and ready. Holy shit, kid. I've been trying to reach you. I heard John nabbed you, and I fear the worst. So I'm glad you made it out. Alive. I'm sorry about Hudson. There's not much we can do without John's key. You're gonna have to lure him out. Figure the best way to do that is to burn his whole fucking operation to the ground. So get to work. I've gathered all your friends here in Falls End to atone for your sins. You're welcome to join us. After all, if it weren't for you, they wouldn't be in this predicament. This is your last chance to say yes, deputy. You gotta stop them once and for all. Don't be late. <laughs> Hold still. It's supposed to say wrath, not rat. Sin it must be exposed so it may be absolved if we hide our sin. We hide ourselves. You will not hide any longer. Your true self must spill out on this floor for all to see. <sighs> Perfect. <laughs> if Muhammad won't come to the mountain, then bring the mountain to Muhammad. Let's begin! your atonement easier. Our devoted. We are gathered here to bear witness. willing to atone for their sins. To those willing to atone for their sins. Will you, Nick Rye, place your hand upon the word of Joseph? Will you, Nick Rye, oh, fuck that? No. I never given in to that psychopath. There it is. Greed. Always thinking of yourself. <laughs> Free. 
Will you, deputy, place your hand upon the word of Joseph? Will you, deputy, place your hand upon the word of Joseph? And renounce your sins and admit your transgressions. And renounce your sins and admit your transgressions. Say yes. It's just one word. What if Joseph is right? Did you ever stop to think about that? Everyone thinks he's crazy, but he's not. Look around you. This world is on the brink. You can feel it in your bones. Look at the headlines. <laughs> Look who's in charge. <coughs> you want this key? Because you think you're saving people, but they are already safe. We had a plan. You don't understand. You don't believe. You don't care! <sighs> May God. Have mercy on your soul. <coughs> <coughs>